Hey guys, it's Phil Morrison and I'm a confidence coach for men and women with social anxiety. Today's video is focused on how to overcome the, the fear of starting a conversation with a girl that you like. So this is a process which, which of course takes time and there's no magic pill. There's no one trick which is going to um, instantly get you over this fear, but you can gradually um, desensitize yourself um, to the whole process of, of seeing a girl that you um, genuinely like and being able to, to go over there and improvise a conversation. So ultimately, um, the, the end goal is to be able to start conversations with um, girls that you like which are completely authentic, completely organic and to see if there's a nice um, natural connection between um, you and the girl you're speaking to and if there's a nice connection and the girl's single um, you can ask the girl out um, on a date. So I'm going to, to help you out with a, a real life example. So a guy that um, I've been coaching for, for several months and I'm actually coaching him today, um, his, his last session today. So this is a guy in his 50s called Darren, super nice guy. And basically um, he had crippling um, social anxiety when it comes to um, starting conversations with people in general. So he's actually okay in situations where there's rules. So for example, if he goes to a shop and he has to buy something, he can have a conversation with the person that he's um, buying the product from. He can speak to um, retail assistants, okay. But when it comes to um, a total stranger, um, there was a big blockage to, to starting conversations. So, so the first step is to ask for directions. So pick somewhere which is, um, you know, not too far away from where you are, such as a train station um, in the city centre, and challenge yourself and say, okay, I'm going to go out there today and ask for directions um, to this train station um, three times. And just go out there and, and complete this task and, and maybe do this um, for, for sev several weeks. So one, once or twice a week for several weeks to, to acclimatize yourself to this. Because then this leads into um, the next step. And the next step is to, to improvise a follow-up line based on, on how that individual, how that girl or how anyone um, actually gives you the directions because there's so much information there and there's so many things that you can improvise off um, to turn it into a conversation and with practice and experience you'll be able to to do this so so in the case of Darren so so I got him to um, ask some girls for directions to um, a train station in Birmingham and um, I remember he spoke to this girl um, on, a, on a stone step and he said, uh, I'm trying to find um, Birmingham New Street. Um, do you know um, how to get there from, from where we are now? And she said, um, so you want to cut through the square, um, the square just behind us and you'll pass this big, this big statue of a pregnant woman. And then um, you keep on going and she basically gave quite a nice um, detailed answer and from that there was so much to improvise off and actually what Darren did is he he inquired about the statue he said that oh I've never actually seen this statue um, do you know what it's there for and basically um, turned it into a five minute interaction and then he repeated this process with 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 several people um, quite, quite a lot of times over and had at least three um, proper conversations all based on um, the opener I guess the, 
to open it of asking for directions. And the key thing is to um, reduce your fear in this situation. And when you uh, expose yourself to this situation many times over, the fear goes down. And it's like it frees up your mental RAM and you're more present in the moment. And when you're really, really present in the moment, you'll realize that there's almost an infinite amount of ways you could um, turn that um, opener into an interaction. Uh, for example, if the, the girl has AirPods on, you could ask her what music she's listening to. If she has an interesting outfit, you could ask her about the outfit. If um, she responds to you and tells you how to find um, the train station, in this example, with um, quite a distinctive accent, you could try and guess where she's from. So basically, um, just practicing asking for directions desensitizes you um, to this fear. And this is step one. And this may take you several weeks to a month to get comfortable doing this. And then the next step is to make a follow-up statement um, after, um, after the girl responds. And of course, for the sake of practice, um, it doesn't have to be um, you speaking to the girl of your dreams. You could speak to um, a grandma, you could speak to a guy, you could speak to anyone. Um, it it's really is the same process, um, just, just for the sake of, of practice. And you'll realize that almost every single time you can come up with a follow-up line. And the follow-up line, with, with practice, you can turn that into um, a proper conversation uh, providing that the other person isn't in a rush um, or, or something like this so this um this has helped darren because he didn't realize he could just have um, full-blown interactions with people that and um, he's he's never met before um literally just someone that he's seen uh, while he's walking through a, a public square for example and suddenly he's had a a really nice 10 minute conversation and there will come a point where you want to um, drop um, the the kind of um, the crutch of asking for directions and truly improvise an interaction from scratch and, and practicing the follow-up line is a great way to do this because ultimately you can just drop asking for directions and jump in with um, a compliment or a, a truly improvised opener. Um, and I think this is a great way to start conversations. And what's, re what's really important as well, actually something that I definitely want to mention here, which helped out um, another guy that I'm working with, is to truly listen to what the other person says. So a common habit that we have, um, especially, especially as guys have, is thinking what to say next rather than actually listening to the other person and there's there's several problems uh, with this um, so in the context of um, relationships um, women basically say that the number one complaint is that guys don't listen to them properly so you're kind of going to annoy a lot of people if you don't genuinely listen the other problem the second problem is that you break eye contact when you're thinking what to say next. So if I'm talking now to the camera, it's, it's hard to look into the, the lens actually because it's I'm doing it on my phone, but if I talk into the camera, then I, I start thinking what to say next. Literally, naturally, my eyes go to one side as I'm, as I'm um, thinking of the next line to say. So it breaks up the flow and without the eye contact, you lose that connection um, with the girl that you're speaking to or any individual that you're speaking to um, for, that for that matter. The other great thing with listening is it means that what you're saying is on point because you're actually improvising. So you're not going to be off key, you're going to be tuned into the other person and it's going to be a real interaction and it has so much more potential than an interaction where you're just thinking what to say next. Um, when you're actually thinking what to say next, it also tracks you in your head. And when you're trapped in your head, 
you can't be in your body and you can't truly um, connect with people. The other great thing with actually listening as well, um, as well as providing access to so much information which allows you to, to build into a conversation from any opening line such as directions or a compliment, listening also means that you're going to pause at times because you're allowing yourself to, to flow in the interaction and you're not trying to force it. So it will slow down the pace of the interaction and it actually just enhances your ability to, to connect with people and, and feel good. So, so really the way to overcome the fear of talking to girls is um, you can break it down like this start off asking for directions uh, repeat this um, several times over in a public environment such as um, going out to town in the daytime and then try to come up with a follow-up line that you truly improvise um, when you're over there practice listening and over time you'll be able to turn um, the directions opener into an interaction and when you can do this you can drop asking for directions and truly improvise interactions when you see a girl that you um, really like and um, she's not in a rush of course and you you want to go over there and and have a nice conversation so i hope that you found this video helpful and i will plug the fact that um, i offer free one-to-one um, -one taster sessions um, for, for anyone with anxiety when it comes to starting conversations with new people and in the tasters and we go out there and I mentor you on how to just start conversations with um, people in public situations and, and have a nice chat building confidence um, in that situation and if you want um, to try a free um, two-hour taster session um, I can do these either in Birmingham or Manchester um, just drop me an email and we can arrange this um, so yeah go out there and, and try this if you're a guy that has um, fear and anxiety when it comes to starting conversations with um, girls that you like and you can really master this skill set I hope you have a um, fantastic rest of your day